Dave, you're a fan of the real world. We're all fans I of the real world. I love it so much. The only problem I have is no children on the show. <laughs> yes. But well, besides that, it's a great show. Luckily, uh, our guest has been on hold just long enough to hear the tail end of you talking about kids. Sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, from the real world Cancun, it's Joey. Oh, yeah. Good evening, Joey. What's up, baby? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Joey, you had a lot of tattoos. You guys, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, wait, Joey. What are you What are you thinking? Is you're hearing? Is this the first time you're hearing special delivery? I kind of feel like I'm on to catch a predator. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, and you and you've caught me. <laughs> just listening to this show is starting to get a little like I don't know if you should be. So I listen to special delivery. I got child porn. It's yeah. kind of well. That's why usually the person keeps the the guest talking. Then right. You put him on hold for situations <laughs> like this. The phone screener I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's love, buzz. <laughs> But Joey got a chance to Joey listen to the care. show now. Joey's cool. Joey, you were in real world Cancun, were you not? Uh, why don't you guys take a seat? I mean, why, do you, why did you bring that, that six-pack of Mike's Heart Lemonade and those condoms? Right. Get it? Oh, yeah. This is uh, Catch a Predator. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. I got you. Caught, Dave. I got you, buddy. I got you. <laughs> Somebody caught a pedophile. Uh, but, I mean, I do like to drink, so now I just want some <laughs> Mike's Heart Lemonade after that. Okay, all right, I'm done. I'm done. Go ahead. Now, listen, are you... Here's what I want to know. Well, this is a question that I have, because I actually liked Real World. Real World Cancun. Cancun. You and Aia, very angry at each other all the time. Then you were off the show. Then you came back, and you, dare I say, hooked up? What say uh, you to that? What say you to that, Joey? What say you? I mean, it happens. It <laughs> happens. Jared... Feed that to the fucking press. Well, we got a scoop. First of all, we, we got should, a scoop. I don't know if we should start at that question. That's like a middle interview question. Okay. But how did you okay, end how up? This? What, what, what if we start okay. with this question? And thank you for coming no, on the show. No, that's the end uh, of the... Okay. How did you end up on The Real World? I had a great time. Yeah. Great time. How did you end up on the show? Uh, I just sent in a video, to be honest. I, I did it as kind of a joke. Uh, my roommates told me I should make a video for like one of the seasons that they were casting for two years before that and like a year and a half later they called me back and i just ended up getting on there it. you go baby so you uh dave made a point earlier on in the evening that he feels that you are this generation's puck yes uh the troublemaker of the house did you go in trying to be the rebel of cancun uh i mean not really I, everything that you know was was shot was just exactly how i would act no. at all times you're a boston guy right or yeah yes yeah. okay um, so, so you didn't change your personality? What's that? You didn't, you didn't change your personality. You were the real Joe man. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. It was all, that was all real. How, what, what is it like? Don't you feel though that you're under pre pressure to perform? Like, uh, there are cameras pointed at you for whatever you're doing. Like, did, isn't it, some of it heightened? I mean, it's, it actually gets a bit frustrating at times, but I mean, it's, it's all right. At first it's really cool, but then it's like, uh, you know, then it's like, you know, you can't, you know, go to, you know, take a piss or sit on the fucking beach or, or, or do anything by yourself without, you know, there's three people around you at all times. But you didn't feel like, uh, you, you had to be entertaining because there was a camera in your face? No, no, I figured, you know, Mexico would do that for me. Yeah, how how familiar were you with, like, other seasons before you? Did you did you watch every season? I've watched every season, but did you <laughs> watch every season before you or no? Honestly, I really haven't. I mean, I've maybe watched about maybe two or three, you which, know. Which, was... which seasons, if you can remember? Or, 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 or do you mean episodes? I definitely watched um, Hawaii. Hawaii was one yeah, of them. Yeah, that was big. That was a big one. Hawaii. Vegas, maybe? Uh, Vegas was the turnaround season, I think. It yeah. did turn the show into a new thing. Yes. Yeah, Vegas is pretty, yeah, now, pretty dirty. Are you familiar with, I mean, familiar, are you friendly with other real world cast members who weren't on your season? Uh, I mean, if, if they're cool, you know, if I meet them in person and, they, and they're, they're, they're not like big douchebags or whatever, then Yeah, I, then so I'm, like you're cool with, like, if, if you were to meet like Pedro, you'd be cool with that shit. Like, you know, he's a, he's a good guy, right? Or, or like uh, Frankie, like from that one year. Ah uh, man, I, I don't even know who they are. Yeah, <laughs> Pedro was just—he was just he was one of the wacky they're characters, news, right? You know, they might as well. You know, here's a question: Your moment that stuck out was obviously when you spit in the taco. 
What'd you do that for? <laughs> Dude, I was, you know, shit happens. But I, you spit in the taco. It wasn't like it just happened. You did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, uh, it, that, that's what happens when you're like... Whose taco was it? Aia's? Or just probably it was Aia's taco, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Are you still watching uh, Real World now? No. Because, like, now in the real world, they're shoving toothbrushes up each other's asses, and they're yeah. calling the cops on each other. One kid's a maniac. And I wonder if you're sitting there thinking, like, oh, this is just another Joey wannabe. This, the, the Ryan kid from this year is kind of Joey-ish. Yeah, there's a kid He might be got, ripping like, you off, Joey. What do you say? He's got Me the you? same haircut. He's trying to pull different. pranks, you know. I feel like he's, he's Joey Jr. So, well, uh, me and Joey will uh, fuck this kid up. And if we, <laughs> and Ryan, if we ever see you, Ryan from Real World New Orleans, if yeah. we see you, me and Joey are going to fuck you up and then fuck you in the ass. Where are you at with that, Joey? Uh, I, I back it. I back it. Back it. Okay. So you back it up. Back you it up. It. You're getting doubly ranked, Ryan, <laughs> yeah. from Real World New Orleans. Joey. Now, how great would that be? This is a pay-per-view special. If there was, like, oh. the cast met and then raped each other. Oh, that would be awesome. Would you buy that pay-per-view? I'll, t I'll tell you this. If Ryan, Ryan can choose anyone from the history of Real World, and I think me and Joey, well, except for Cyrus, from Real World Boston. Yeah. You know why, right, Joey? <laughs> he could What's keep that? Never mind, Joey. Joey, um, besides that, what, did you ever have any type of... In a couple seasons, people have hooked up with producers or cameramen. Yeah, that we, guy, wasn't his name Dan from Boston? David. David, David, David yeah. from Boston. He hooked up with someone, and then Becky from the very first season hooked up with someone. Did it, would, was that ever a scenario? Either with you or any of your castmates? Uh, not that I know of. I, I know that, uh, you know, one of the... One of the clauses is that you you can't you know you're you're not allowed to do that kind of stuff. But so David were... though did definitely did. What was that chick? Because I remember remember he screamed. I it fucking like, love he... you. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> Sheila, or whatever her fucking name was. Now, Joey? now now Joey, Dave and me were talking about this earlier, and uh, I'm gonna be 27 in a week and a half. Dave is 32. Do you think we're far too old to be watching this silly show? Uh yeah, I bet. No. Yeah, oh. What what about watching this show called Lazy Town Nick Jr.? Am I too old for that, Joey? No, but you're definitely not too old for Nick Tunes. Okay. All yeah, right. not All never right. too old. Muppet Babies, huh, Joey? Muppet, I, yeah, definitely. I'm, I don't care for that show. Now, uh, Joey, our, our, uh, our crack staff was actually pre-interviewing you, and uh, it says here that you claim to have seen UFOs and that you're a firm believer in their existence. Yes, absolutely, 100%. Is there That's inter this interests me, because I, I like the X-Files. Where did you see them? And do uh, you know Fox Mulder? I saw them up in the sky. No, but Hampshire. I mean, like, what, what city? I mean, what city, like? Hampshire. Uh, uh, Wyndham. Wyndham, New Hampshire. Okay. Wait, you're spending time in New Hampshire. Do you know Scorch? <laughs> <laughs> no, who's Scorch? He's an afternoon rock jock on... Uh, I think it, well, I can't remember what station it is. But WKRP. A, no, that's Cincinnati. It's a different station. Oh. Um, but you don't know Scorch, huh? I don't know Scorch. He's a New Hampshire jock. Uh, we actually can take a question here. Tony in New Jersey has a, cre a question for Joey from the real world. Tony, you're on special delivery. Tony. Hey. Oh, hey, Ron. Tony. I mean, uh, <laughs> what's happening, guys? I just wanted to say that uh, I'm a juggalo. Punky. Tony. Really? Oh. He's a juggalo? Oh, shit. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh -huh. Is this a show looking for juggalos? <laughs> that was last week, Tony. Yeah. He was actually... Oh, I got the wrong show, dude. Uh, it happens. It ha he was fun. asking uh, if producers uh, and, and cameramen and stuff encourage fighting. Joey? On the real world, I can't answer the question, but maybe Joey from Cancun can. What, what is the question? I'm sorry. If you if they encourage you guys to fight or hook up, or if, if there's any encouragement done by the off-camera staff. Oh, there is not. There is oh, not. really? But they do fuel you with alcohol, right? I mean, there's always a stocked fridge, correct? Surprisingly, it, uh, it is all legit as far as shooting goes. You know, it, it all just changes when it goes into editing and all Yeah, that. right. Okay. But they do they ask you leading questions when you're in the confessional? Um, no, they pretty much just tell you to go in there and talk. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah, but they, what if you say boring shit? Uh, they, they don't put it on. Oh. What if you liked ice skating when you were 16? Joey, you, you're, one of your castmates, his name is CJ, I believe, 
he was trying to be a punter in the NA- NFL. How has that progressed, if you may? Answer. Um, I think, I think CJ has a pretty decent career going for himself right now. I think is he is he punting professionally, or is I mean, like in the NFL, or is he in like Canada, or do you, do you know where he is? Just out of curiosity. I actually, I don't, I I know he's not punting in the NFL, but I'm not sure. I know he got an offer from, uh, I I don't know, I I really don't. I know he got an offer from somebody. I'm Cincinnati sure. Bengals. What's that? From Cincinnati. I have no idea. Okay, well, let's just say he's punting for the Bengals. I don't think that's. That one. I don't think that's the case. Uh, now, Joey, you talked about like some of the other previous seasons of uh, the Real World and some of the people that have been on it. Do you know the Miz? Uh, I've never met him personally, but I know who he is. Uh, what do you think of him? Uh, I think that he he had the right idea. He went yeah. on and promoted himself as like you know a wrestler or whatever, and it actually worked. And that happened, isn't that amazing? Do you think that you could? Be-